The operator has received the details of the call. The line is busy. I'll call you. The sights and sounds of office work from about 1950. The white collar world has changed a lot since then, but in many ways the offices themselves have stayed the same. Long lines of employees, row after row of keyboards. Unless you work at Google, the company that specializes in searching may have found a new way to work. Harvard Gould took a look. It's an office that doesn't look like one. Free snacks. Free meals. In the gym, free weights. Plus, places to play music. And every other amenity they could think of. What do you need a tent for? You know what? This is actually a great space for the odd meeting or to just come back, kick back. The trend in most workplaces is less. Space, privacy, cost. A lot of uh, organizations talk about healthy workplaces, but really they're trying to save money on real estate, in my opinion. The workstations at Google's new Toronto office aren't huge, but with all the extras, the buy-in is. Could you work in an ordinary office now? <laughs> this is pretty extraordinary. Google won't say what all this costs, only that it's worth it. We look at it as a long-term investment in our people. Uh, we want to be able to train them and hang on to them. Google's strategy seems clear, not just keep workers happy selling ads and coming up with new ways to make money, but keep them in the building, working long hours. It works. And we actually do take time and, and go play arcade for a little while and hang out, and, and it's usually during those times that you get an idea when you're meeting with someone from a different department or a different team. While human resources experts say all this can increase productivity short term, they also warn the novelties can wear off. And over time, people still have to feel they are treated well individually. You can set an office up any way you want. Um, the things that really show up are recognition, feedback, opportunity for career advancement. But if you could get that, who wouldn't want free lunches too? Problem is, Google isn't like most companies. It's flush with cash in a high growth sector and battling for the best talent. Meaning, while this may look like the office of the future, um, it's not necessarily yeah. yours. Got to say, yeah, they're addictive, man. They're lovely. Harvard Gould, CBC News, Toronto. Too.